I'm joined now by Jim Beasley. He's a University of Georgia professor who has a very interesting study into wild pigs, their socialization, what's going on with them. We know that's a big problem in South Georgia with these uh, pigs and hogs uh, terrorizing farmers down here, really. What have you been able to find out in your study so far, Jim? Yeah, so we've got a whole host of different studies going on right now on, on wild pigs throughout the southeast and you know things looking at reproduction things looking at crop damage looking at different ways of effectively managing populations and so yeah we can talk a little bit about a few of these things so one of the things that we've been able to look at is kind of where and when pigs cause damage to crops and one of the things that we found is that the most extensive damage to both corn and peanut fields is right after planting. Although corn fields, pigs do hit them really hard once it reaches the blister stage, so later in development. And so we've been coupling that with some of the management techniques that are out there. And we've found that you know, if you really go in and do some intensive management shortly before planting, so the couple months leading up to planting, that actually happens to be the time of year when, when trapping is most effective for pigs. And so you can really reduce populations right before that they're causing the most damage to the crop fields. I know you're hoping to help out a lot of people through this study to try to control this population. Yeah, absolutely. And so we've been teaming up with some, some professional trapping organizations, um, some federal partners as part of some farm bill work most recently. And one of the things that we've been doing is working alongside uh, a lot of these federal programs and trying to quantify how trapping impacts populations and ultimately damages. And what we've been able to demonstrate is that over a one to two year intensive trapping program, uh, these organizations are able to reduce populations by 70 to 90 percent. And we're seeing over a 50 percent decrease in crop damage and almost a 90 to 95 percent reduction in environmental damage through rooting. And so, you know, this basically is demonstrating that intensive, effective trapping programs can have a direct benefit to uh, to crop losses and to environmental damage as well. That's good news for South Georgia for agriculture. Jim Beasley with the University of Georgia, thank you very much for joining us. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me.